Hello, everyone, especially IAM 751. I came 3,000 miles from Connecticut to support you. I walked around several of the Boeing facilities that you were striking on. I spoke with Kayla, what a wonderful person. I've spoke to Jackie and so many others from, from Renton to Everett. I have to tell you, my heart goes out for you because I met with some union leadership. One was Tony, fantastic in the hall in Renton. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic guy. This morning, I had the opportunity to meet with Lloyd. And he said, why did you come out here? You weren't invited, basically. And you know, I think about the story since I worked in aerospace, in helicopters, Igor Sikorsky. He sounded like some of the engineers that said to Igor, oh, it's not an engineering fall, uh, engineeringly sound. Why are you doing it? You shouldn't do it. It's impossible to do. It's not gonna fly. Lloyd was the same mentality as running the union as was telling Igor Sikorsky not to build a helicopter. It's not engineeringly sound. I have over 40 plus years in quality. I've watched the degradation of, of Boeing. And if you think signing that contract is gonna help you with the morale issues that you have, it doesn't even last a day with the morale issues that I heard about. This video today is about John Holden, president of IAM 751, rejects QA expert Daryl Guberman, who traveled 3,000 miles to save IAM 751 and especially to the passengers who sit their asses on Boeing's substandard equipment. And we have the data. So Boeing lawyers, you want to come after me? What I have is the truth. What I have is a following here. What I have is people who are scared to fly. I get at least once a week people contacting me saying, well, actually, uh, travel agents, we have some people here in the, we have some people here in the, um, uh, in our office, and th they're, th they're telling me that they saw your, they're telling me that they saw your video on Boeing substandard quality that they gave up on-site inspection for 22 years. They don't want to fly. On-site inspection. On-site inspection, heat treatment, welding, non-destructive testing like penetrant and radiography, okay? And then you have the audacity that that was in April. In July, they had the audacity to come out with the supplier bulletin that said, if you have to be ANSI, ANSI ASQ accredited on the AS9100 certificate. I'm going to read you the letter that Lloyd wrote me. Now, you have to have demonstrative leadership when it comes to a president of the corporation, which you don't have with Robert Kelly Oberg. He should not have been picked. He has 340 plus souls embedded into his soul. So even if you sign the contract, ladies and gentlemen, the disasters that are awaiting you because of his, uh, his leadership at Rockwell Collins with the MCAS system will follow him and you, and that, that stuff just spreads the, the, the dead people. I can still hear when I went to see David Calhoun and that woman who stood up in June 18th saying, you killed my daughter, you killed my family. So let me read you what Lloyd said this morning. Now here I am, I'm here, I'm right in front of Lloyd. I knew right off the bat that, I don't know. He's not for the union. He's not for the, the, the he's not for the rank and file and especially John Holden. Now he's the guy. Let me just read you what Mr. Lloyd said. Because by the way, before I came out here, I tried to call him at least twice. They put me into voicemail. Nobody put me into voicemail. Did you hear from them? Neither did I. So I took the initiative because like I said, I care about you. I care about the union because I used to be a shop. I used to be on the floor in aerospace. They used to call me the copter doctor. 70101 for tear rotor bond controls for both the Blackhawk and Seahawk. 3802315000 revision H at the time. So that's way out of date now. That was many, many years ago. That was the bond control for the blade shop giving repair criteria. SS9502 for filler from adhesive. SS8612 for 1113 metal bond. And so many others. I still know them. And I've been out of there since 1995 because I was part of the Bill Clinton get rid of uh, aerospace from starting in 91. They got done with it in 2001. 
because that was his whole initiative. The Soviet Union's gone. We can get rid of aerospace. So, again, this is what I received from Lloyd this morning. This shows about the integrity, not just the integrity, the integrity of the president of the IM-751. Now, if you call me now, after I put out these videos, and there's going to be a couple more, then it shows me that you are a weak leader. It shows me now you're a weak leader. Ladies and gentlemen of IM-751, if you sign off that contract, I remember the first time around, they really, John was really pushing you to sign it off, and you rejected it, and he had to take a... Uh, a back seat per se. So let me read this to you. Hello, Daryl. I spoke to John Holden. I have passed the information, including your business card, on to him. He said that that he does not have time enough to meet with you with everything that ha he has going on with this labor dispute with Boeing. He said he will call you at some point in the future, but it will not be before his contract offer is voted and a determination is made by this, this membership if they are going to ratify this offer or reject it. Reject it, ladies and gentlemen, but if you accept it, you deserve what you're going to get. John Holden is not your leader. He's weak. And I told Lloyd that. A lead, you know what a leader is? I own my own company. Do you know why I wear these on my wrists? Do you see this? I was a slave at those places that I worked. A slave. And I made a lot of people a lot of money. I'll never forget plastic distribution. The guy got $60,000 bonus. He brought in his little tiny degree. He had not the education that I did. I got $3,800. That showed me right off the bat this is bullshit. Okay? A leader is somebody who cares, who comes out here 3,000 miles, and John could have blown me off if he had enough sense. Doesn't he have to take a pee? Was he? He's got a catheter in his penis so he can leak, or he's got it wearing a diaper? He could have stopped for five minutes and spoke to me. I came 3,000 miles. That's not a leader. That's not a leader, ladies and gentlemen, in IM 751. I'm going to keep on doing a lot of videos about this because I came out here and shame on John Holden. This video, again, is John Holden, president of IM 751, rejects QA expert Daryl Guberman, who traveled 3,000 miles to save IAM 751 because you know why? We've got data here. You let me, and I, that's they, they can do that. I've looked at the laws. I am 751, could invite me in, and I can go sit at that meeting with the management of Boeing. I have enough information here that you would have gotten everything you deserve. Your pension, your 40%, everything. David Calhoun is getting $45 million just for quitting the company in December. What kind of shit is that? Kelly Oprah bought a house. While you guys and gals were on strike the very first or second week, he bought a house. What kind of management is that? What kind of, what kind of audacity do these people have? Unbelievable. My telephone number is 203-556-1493 or Daryl TQRS at yahoo.com. And here you go. I went to support Sam Salapar April 17. Now, mind you this, ladies and gentlemen of IM751, I was not invited. It was open door and you can't get up and talk. Only the ones that they invited to speak can speak. Well, I got up and I said my piece. That Boeing, that Boeing allowed two pieces of paper to give them, <laughs> give them shitty parts. Because a piece of paper doesn't get you anything. A piece of paper, you, here it is. You send in your uh, NADCAP for special processes, send it in, send your parts. We don't have to come to your facility. AS9100, as long as it's uh, ANSI ANAB accredited, just send it in, send your parts, we're good to go. I have a litany of emails from this mess about them uh, Boeing only accepting ANSI ANAB. Why? Because they sit on they sit on ANSI ANAB's management board, management committee board that can grant suspend and withdraw certification. They call it on the supplier portal and, and then they do the supplier bulletin. Three ways Boeing is fucking their suppliers. So I'm gonna leave it here. We're not done with you, Lloyd or John. Both of you have a lot to be desired when it comes to leadership, I must confess. For 3,000 miles, somebody had to give me a little bit better news than you did, John, and also Lloyd. The only person is Tony. I thank you, Tony.